Welcome back to Unit 10. This week's episode is proudly sponsored by 5678 Collectibles. Get your favorite WWE action figures at 5678collectibles.com and in the description below. Echo Reed, we saw in the last Unit 10 that you lost against Stitches and Barton Hyde was there. Yeah, I mean, I'm a little bit annoyed to be honest. Like, I, I had the victory set, like, I could see it. I was, I was on top, I was winning. And then Barton Hyde came out, like, I didn't know those two were affiliated together. Like, when did No, that I think happen? some sort of partnership is happening. But Yeah, oh, well, it's happened now. Like, we don't dwell on the past, we focus on the future. So. And the future being St. Austell, June 25th. What are your plans for that? I mean, this time I returned home to my home county of Cornwall, so I'm pretty more, more, more confident this time. You know, like, my family's there, my fans are there. And, you know, this time I have a good feeling that I'm going to walk out women's champion. So I'm feeling good about this one. I don't care. Like, I'm winning this time. Echo read, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Unit 10! Unit 10! Unit 10! Unit 10! Unit 10! Unit 10! The following contest is scheduled for one fall! One fall! On my left, supported by Stitches, we have Barton High! <laughs> On my right, we have Red Hot Andy Knott! 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 That is right, Reach Army. It is time once again for Unit 10. I'm joined today by John Joe Obrey. My name is Garrett Winter. Let's kick it off. Yes, looking forward to this one, Garrett. Andy Knott, he's uh, not backing down right now. I don't know if that's a wise move. Um... Well, Andy Notman requesting a match with Reach's owner Jason King on the last unit 10. Yeah, I think he got more than what he bargained for here, Garrett. Not really expecting Barton Hyde, but he's still trying to cut down the big man. Notman going for the legs. Nice side headlock. Headlock applied. Lovely. Well, Barton Hyde with the strength. Notman staying in control for now. And this is back and forth so far. Barton whips him off the roll. Oh, big time shoulder tackle from Barton Hyde. Elbow misses. Probably going for the arm. I don't know whether technical wrestling is the best way to deal with Barton Hyde. Try to weaken oh, no. those arms, maybe to try and weaken Barton Hyde enough that he can't lock in that submission. Yeah, that submission, the Kraken clutch. Ooh. Going up high now, going up high. Oh, we're going old school. Oh, oh. it doesn't pay off. Yeah, that crack and clutch really is the talk of the academy now, and it, that talk is it's a, it's a painful conversation. I mean, it's a devastating submission. I will admit that very devastating submission, and Barton Hyde has not been taken off of the top at the moment. He is undefeated here at Unit 10. Not been trying to find his way out. Looking at any corner of the ring that will... Oh! Any corner wow. that will have him. See Andy Notman reeling there from that hard shot. And he goes for it again, just gets turnbuckle. Maybe that is the way to take down Barton Hyde, use his own strength and momentum against him. That would be right there, Gareth. That could be the only way to take him down. I do not know. Oh, he's trying to go for a submission there, I thought, but going with a face buster instead. Oh my god, the strength wow. of Barton Hyde just launching Notman to the outside. Wow, I mean, we talk about power from Barton Hyde all the time. That there, he has just put his power on display, launching Andy Not straight out of the ring. Andy doesn't really know where he is right now. Using the crowd to get him back. 
Back in the spirit. One factor that we haven't spoken about yet is Stitch's ringside. Just recently, they've seemed to have teamed up. Oh, so she could be a factor. Maybe she doesn't even need to be. So you can see her now. You can see her like she's commanding Barton Hyde, shouting at the fans. But whatever she's saying, it is working for Barton Hyde right now. She is getting straight into his head. Oh. Andy Notman still somehow finding his feet. I've got to admit, probably a bit controversial, but I am a big fan of Barton Hyde. Everything he does, I love the power behind him. But right now, Andy not not looking good in this contest. Well, so far, undefeated. He is undeniable at the moment. Oh, unless. And he fired up. Oh, point back! Big chop! The chest of Andy Notman on fire! Red wow. hot, if you will. Even the referee wincing at that one. Fans trying to get behind Andy. Trying to will him on. He gets the boot up. Maybe he's listening to the fans. He can hear them in support. Through the ropes, big kick to the face of Barton Hyde. Barton Hyde looks, looks dazed, perhaps he doesn't... Oh, Andy Notman in control at the moment. Oh. oh! Big sidewalk slam from Barton Hyde, just as we thought. Red hot, Andy Not was taking control. Barton Hyde cuts him down. Really, really struggling now. Use of the ropes for leverage, gets himself to his feet. Clubbing forearm there. Sends him off. Looking for another sidewalk slam. No, no. What is this? What is this? Not Notman locks in the submission. He's got the legs viced around the head. We spoke about technical wrestling earlier. Maybe this is it. Maybe this is what was needed. No. Again, that power of Barton Hyde. You've got to do more. Oh! <sighs> it seems like he's had enough of technical wrestling now oh my days barton hyde sitting straight up did not feel a thing there i gotta admit garrett i think this is the toughest test for barton hyde so far he's I agree, dominated but... every oh, competition no oh and he sets this it up for it. the crack and clutch Oh. No one has ever escaped the crack and clutch. Can Red Hot Andy not? Can he do it? The demonic eyes of Barton Hyde. Not even releasing. However, Red Hot Andy not. First one, I believe, not to tap. Correct me if I'm wrong, but he just. He would not submit. Did you enjoy playing wrestling when you were a kid? Well, luckily for you, this week's episode is proudly sponsored by 5678 Collectibles. All your favorite wrestlers from Bray Wyatt to The Rock. They've got everything you can think of. So get your favorite WWE action figures at 5678collectibles.com. Don't look at me like that. He's going to be mad. I had that! Stop it. Come on then. Come on then. Come on then. He's waiting. Come on then. The following contest is scheduled for one fall! One fall! On my left, we have one third of Northern culture Matty T! Yeah. Yeah. And on my right, we have Joe It is time for our second match of the evening. Joe Costa against the Scouse Prince. Matty T joined ringside by Northern Culture. 
Yeah, I don't like the fact that Northern Culture are on the outside. This doesn't bode well for Joe Costa in this match. Well, but we'll see. Look. Joe Costa, a seasoned student, very, very good up-and-comer. Matty T's got to have a bit of experience behind him to take on Joe Costa, so we'll see how this plays out. If anything, Northern Culture showing their faces at all this week is... Uh... Almost egregious. Bestie currently indefinitely suspended from in ring competition. Great arm drag from Costa. Oh, lovely lovely hip, toss. hip toss as well. Couldn't have said it better myself. Looking for a slam. Matty T trying to find a way out. Gets planted. Joe Costa all fired up right now. Bestie stood there at the exact spot that Kid Devon got planted with that pile driver. Absolutely disgusting actions from Northern Culture at the last Unit 10 show. Matty T taking control now over Costa. Ooh. Oh, wow, hard Irish whip from Matty T. You see those marks on Costa's back. See, it's good to see Matty T in singles competition. I've only seen him in tag team action, whether it's with Northern Culture or Cameron. I've never seen him in singles action, so really good to see him here up against Joe Costa. Matty T's attitude changing now that he's joined northern culture just becoming this sadistic sadistic scouse prince oh, oh big european uppercut from Matty the trash talk as well oh using the ropes on the neck of costa has he got something in his eye What's... Another devastating Euro there. Big time stomps coming from Matty T to Joe Costa, wearing him down in that corner. But he needs to watch out for the rest of Northern Culture on the outside. Just like shark circling. Oh, no, not again. And there it is. There it is, Northern Culture with those tactics. Heath with some... Dirty kidney punches there. Oh, I wouldn't be surprised if we hear even further about Bestie suspension. I might have added a few weeks just there. Nice Irish whip from Matty T. Going in for Joe Costa. Joe Costa manages to reverse into a pin. Does he get it? Just kicking out from Matty T at two. Costa, a mainstay of the Reach Academy. Vicious here from Matty T. Going for a pin on Costa. Costa with the kick out at two. It really feels like Costa hasn't found his stride in 2022. I've got to agree with you there, Garrett. Hopefully this will be the start. Of him starting to get some wins behind him, making his way up the uh, Reach Academy ladder. Mm -hmm. All you need, all you need is that one win, that one burst of momentum to push you forward. I wouldn't be surprised if either of these men are Reach Academy champion by the end of the year. Oh, wow! Wow! Vicious back elbow from Matty T. That's got to be it. Oh, and Joe Costa just kicking out. Matty T can't believe it. I can't believe it. After the point of the elbow. I am Costa in disbelief. Square in the face. Ducks the line. And the back elbow. Costa coming in with a forearm. Looking for another. Planting Matty T down. Come on. Lifts him up. Back suplex. Looks like Costa's really finding that energy now. He's got that second win. 
That second wind gets him up onto the shoulders. Matty T wriggling, trying to wriggle out of this. Oh. Joe Costa squatting, showing the strength. He may not look it, but the strength behind Joe Costa is unreal. You can really see it there. The, the confidence coming back into Joe Costa. Going over and taunting Northern Culture. Looking for the Olympic slam. No. Oh! Yes. Oh, it misses Heath. Matty T looks like he's going to line Costa up here. What's he going oh. for? Oh, oh, oh. Wow, what a neck breaker. Oh, come on. Matty T over. with the win. We saw briefly that fire in Costa. Just hope it hasn't been extinguished. Northern culture dominant once again. You can't deny their tactics or their success. Okay, received an email about tonight. Yeah. You need to hear me out though, because... What's his email about? <laughs> there they are, my new tag partners and best friends. What? Good to see you, good, good to, to see, see you. Good to see you, Max. Too soon? Too soon, that's okay. I have organized a big six-man tag main event. Big money, big main event. I'm undefeated. You guys as a tag team are undefeated oh, yeah. against Toby Valentine, Kurt Rain, and the supplementary champion, Lucky. That's why yeah. we're doing it. We're getting our own back. Okay, what about the money? What about the wages? Hi. Big money. More big expensive big than your charity shop, sir. So expensive. So expensive. So expensive. So expensive. Mm. Come on. We'll be like a new age main event mafia. On can, three, be, can I be Kevin Nash? Of course, of, of course. course. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. On three, yeah, on three. Go. Just, just, just. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. Woo! Let's go! Yeah. Okay. The following contest is scheduled for one ball. One ball. On my left, we have Couture. So the fuzzy socks are back. Referee Mike checking the fuzzy socks now. This is the Unit 10 debut of Coach Shaw. We've had weeks and weeks of rumblings on social media, so it's time we find out what this wrestler's all about. I mean, we've seen the promo videos, a huge change here from Coach Shaw, from what we saw at the last Reach Academy show. Okay, draw in the white stripes. Newton in the red stripes. Oh, that's a devastating forearm. Ooh, and another. Coach Shaw seems to be just laughing through these. It seems, it seems Coach Orr just isn't phased by these forearms. I, I really don't know what is going on with, with Coach Orr right now, but he's freaking me out a little bit here, Garrett. Oh, oh lovely drop toe hold from Newton. Moves into the centre of the ring. Perfect mat work. Oh, some amateur wrestling here. Oh, oh no, it appears he's... He's got dizzy. Put your back to his feet. Very nice there from Newton. Nice pin, but Couture managed to get out of that. I honestly don't know what to make of this, Garrett. I'm I'm genuinely speechless. Ooh. Headlock takeover. Those laughs, most likely unnerving Newton. This isn't an opponent. This isn't like any opponent he's faced yet. 
I mean, you've got to think Newton has had some pretty bad luck when it comes to matches. I mean, he's had Barton Hyde, and now he has Colture. And this is not looking, but we're going for a side headlock takedown from Colture. Still sure. showing he's got that wrestling in him. Oh, he's in charge. He seems to be really just taking pleasure in the pain. Both his and Newton's. Old wrenching the neck. Snapmare. Oh, hang on. Oh, the disrespect. Oh! Well, what was. What on earth? Oh my god. Ooh. Newton kick it out there. Pin. Wow. I mean, this is a huge change from what we saw at the Reach Academy show and Brawl in the Guild Hall as well. This is a huge change for Cold Tour. No longer adorning the uh, bright red hair, the flamboyance. It's now just com become completely sinister. It's like something in him has snapped. Couture there, forcing the ropes into the mouth of Newton. Almost like a Chelsea smile. Perhaps that can allude to the face paint he has on as well. Oh! Oh! Knocking out the arm of Newton with that. Everybody needs to learn to like that. Because that is okay. Smile for the camera. Looks like a camel clutch here. Oh, Arms he's locked got in. The oh. fingers in the mouth. Referee Just Mike trying to rip. None of that. Trying to rip that face apart. Almost echoing what we saw from Barton Hyde earlier tonight. Oh, atomic drop. Hang on. Couture calling for another. Oh, Newton happy to oblige. Oh, devastating reverse atomic drop. This is freaking me out, Garrett. We're down to one strap now. This is oh, where Newton really chance. fires up. Wow. The tide is finally turning. Lovely elbow to the top of the skull. Hold on. I, I like it. Give me more. He's asking for going back it. with these jabs. And Both again. straps are off. Oh. Wow. Elbow to the crown of the head. He's asking for more, Garrett. What has Newton got to do to take down Couture? <laughs> Newton saying he doesn't have any straps left to take off. Oh, right to the gut. Oh, brutal wow. face buster there. Hold on. On the hook. It's okay. I like it. Oh my god. What is this? It's not releasing. Couture with the double arm DDT followed by I don't know what that was. One hell of a submission taking Newton out straight away. Reach on me. I just want to stop. I don't want to take too much of your time. You know I like talking, so I'm going to try and keep this short and sweet. You have supported me for seven years, and my journey has been kind of up, down, 
left, right, and all over the place. Uh, but this is now where I am uh, here in Plymouth for Reach Wrestling. Your support allows me and, and all of us to do what we love, which is perform for you. Uh, I didn't know where my journey would end. I didn't really know where it was going to take me, but it's led me to this moment now. Every action has led me here. July, I we return, not me, we all return uh, to Plymouth at St. Marjorie University. Tickets are on sale. Uh, we'll get our guy to put the link up somewhere, all right? It's been a really, 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 really fun, uh, at times painful and frustrating, but really fun seven years. You followed me, like me or not. I think if we're honest, you at least respect me. I think you know that deep down together, we've given each other a lot of, lot of, lot of good times. And I just really hope this one last time, you can support me for what's next for Jason King. You don't have to like me. You don't have to. I don't really care, but I would like you to be there. July 2nd at Modern University. I have an announcement uh, about the next step in my career. Remember, there can still only be one. That's man. Thank you very much, Freya Reach Army. It is time for your main event. What more massive main event can you have than this? Maximilian Jaggard the fourth. Starting fights already. Nope. Oh wow! Kurt Rain straight off the bat taking out a Wooga Luke. One of the best up and coming tag teams in the Southwest right now. As you can see Kurt Rain without his tag team partner Kid Devon. By Luke. Lucky with the tag. What are we seeing here? Oh, wow. Ooh. Wow. Great athleticism there from Lucky. And a great double team from Kurt and Lucky. Devastating cannibal. Brings Omega Luke to the outside. Lucky really feeling it now. Crossbody to the outside. That is that high-flying athleticism from Lucky that has made him such a hot prospect here at Unit 10 and the Reach Academy. Oh. A disrespect from Lucky there. Oh, and he's paying for it. DJ grabbing the leg. Ducks the clothesline. Oh, and a springboard crossbody from Lucky going for the pin, but a kick out from a Mega Luke at one. Referee Matt, great officiating there. Lucky currently showing why he is the Reach Supplementary Champion. Ooh. Very well deserved champion as well. Oh! Mega Luke faking out the crossbody there, going in for the DDT. You know, whatever you think about Awuga Luke, Omega Luke, Danny Boy Johnson, they're smart. 
they know exactly what they've got to do to try and dominate this match and get the win. But I say that, and Lucky with a big cartwheel kick there. Clearly not smart enough. Ooh. Float over, face buster. Driving Toby DJ. Valentine makes his way in. Straight for a top drop. Oh, lovely double team move there. One of my big, oh, we're going for a pin. One of my big favourites is Toby Valentine. He's definitely a future champion and a future star in the UK. And I reckon he'll be international sooner rather than later. Beautiful leap there. Oh, and a wow. lovely chop block. Just oh, lifts DBJ with ease. And DBJ is not a light man. Wow. Oh, Jagger pulling the hair. Oh, Valentine. And DBJ taking advantage. <laughs> Referee Matt Rowe keeping a tight eye on a Wooga Luke on Maximilian Jagger. I've got a feeling that Sorry. Maximilian Lord is Maximilian do... Jagger the four. Oh, yeah, we've got to say Lord Maximilian Jagger. Well, we're going to be hearing about that Monday morning. But yes, Lord Maximilian Jagger the fourth. That is one hell of a mouthful. I think he's going to be doing more damage on the outside than what he is going to be doing on the inside of the ring. Many a distraction he has caused already. All of these men are qualified for the 10-man battle royal at Marjon, the South West Championship. It's a tough call. I, d I really don't know who will win that battle royal. There's so many great competitors. And like you say, six of them are in the ring right now. Can they coexist tonight is the question, knowing that that battle royal is just around the corner. It seems like each man has something huge on their mind during this match. And that is a potential championship in the future. Oh, referee Matt Rowe being distracted. Jaggard and Omega Luke just on the throat of Valentine there. Told you he'd do more damage on the outside than what he will inside the ring. Maximilian Jaggard, the fourth. Danny Boy Johnson using Toby Valentine's own body weight there on his knee, and that is a lot of damage now. Oh, and again. Tag made. Did I just hear a DBJ chant coming from the fans? That can't be right, Gary. That cannot be right. I wouldn't be surprised if Lord Maximilian Jaggard has paid off members of the crowd. Oh, he's clearly paid the editor for that gold nameplate. Oh, big stop from Omega Luke. Now we're looking for a double team from Omega. Oh, and DBJ, a Wooga Luke with a huge double team. Oh, they're not finished yet. Wow. Normally, that would be to the mid section. That was right to the leg and knee of Valentine. Looks like it's time. Oh, wow. Jaggard's in. Oh, well, and he's back out. Okay, so as quick as he was in, he's out even quicker. Ooh. Wow. Some strong choice words from Danny Boy Johnson there. Oh. How much punishment can one man take? Reach Army, even if they're paid off by Jaggard, are still behind Valentine. Valentine finally finding his way to his feet. Will that knee hold? Mega Luke holding on. He breaks the hold. Valentine off the ropes, ducks the line. And another. Crossbody! Oh, 
Oh, a big crossbody there from Farm Strong. Toby Valentine to Omega Luke. Looks like he took most of it on his knee, though. Can he find his way to the corner? Lucky and Kurt Rain there, desperate to get in. Whoa! Wow, Toby wanted Lord Maximilian Jaggard. Can you blame him? Rolling, desperate now. Oh, DBJ hooking that leg, big kick to the, big kick to the calf there. Lucky and Kurt Rayner itching to get into this match. They are isolating the big man Toby Valentine right now, and it is working to their advantage. Lord Jaggard not even extending his hand for the tag. Oh, what a suplex from Omega Luke. That oh, is a lot pin. of man to suplex. Oh, and a kick out from Toby Valentine. You've got to do more than that to take out Farm Strong. This is a future Reach Academy champion, and I also believe he will be a future Reach Heavyweight champion in Toby Valentine. That's how much I am behind him right now. Omega Luke during that pin, making sure to hold the injured knee. That's the type of thing you just can't teach. Oh! Johnson into the corner. Not in the right corner though, Toby Valentine. He manages to roll to the correct corner and gets that tag from Lucky. Lucky now firing up one clothesline, two clotheslines, three clotheslines, four clotheslines and a drop kick from Lucky. He is all fired up now. Completely clearing the field. Jaggard nowhere to be seen. Oh, lovely monkey flip. He's going for another. No. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh on to DBJ! Uh, lucky, oh it was like a fly just hit him in the back. He's not even sure whether Jegard hit him or not. He just knows he was touched. And now Jegard being surrounded by all three men. Well, that's what you get for going for the save, I suppose, Jegard. Oh! You love to see it. Oh my God. I love seeing rich folk being taken out. Oh no. And Woogaloo coming in for the save. Looking for an Alabama, uh, Alabama slam, couldn't get it. Valentine desperately this, reaching. Oh. This has descended into absolute chaos, Garrett. Is this what we are gonna see in the Battle Royal? Come July 2nd at the Shades March of Marjon. Lord Jaggard now the legal man. Not sure if Lucky saw that. Oh, lovely float over there. Toby oh. Valentine into the wall. Wow, Omega. Oh, Stargazer. Right. He's not the legal man. Jaggard with the roll up. Oh, no. oh, he grabs the tights. He's got the tights, ref. Oh, he's done it. He has done it again. The weasel that is Lord Maximilian Jaggard the fourth. Get this on camera. Open the champion. Champion. Seems to have taken Lucky Supplementary Championship. Is he taking it with him right now? He is taking it with him right now, Garrett. Hold on. What's he doing with the gold? Oh, lucky that does like this. not oh. make you... And Jaggard is on the run. And the carnage left in the ring. Is this what we will see at TakeOver Marjon on July 2nd? Each one of these men putting it on the line tonight and again in the 10-man battle royal at TakeOver Marjon for the Reach Southwest Championship. Will we see a repeat? Will we see Max Jaggard holding the belt high? All of this and more at TakeOver Marjorie.
Tickets available in the description below.